Hi, welcome to Mary's Math Club. As angels are very special in fairy tales, just like that, angle is very important and special in geometry. All of you know that angle is produced when two straight lines are intersecting each other or intersect each other at a point or meet at, at a point then the corner space this corner space is known as angle so for each and every angle there should be two segments which is also known as the arms of the angles and a common corner point which is known as the angular point of that angle angular point that's why when we try to name that angle, then we write, uh, if it is like A, B and C, then we write A and in the middle, the angular point always should be in the middle, B, C. From this side. And if we want to write from this side, then it will be angle C, B and A. In this case, both the cases, B, the angular point is in the middle. Angular point always should be in the middle. In this case, A, B, C or C, B, A is same angle. Because in both the cases, the angular point is same that is B and here the segments are or the arms of the angles are A, B and B, C. And here also, the segments or the arms are AB and BC. So segments are same and the angular point is same. That's why it's a same angle. But angular point is same means not that always it will be same angle. Sometimes it is uh, different. Like this in the example, we can explain it with this example. See here, here this is A, B, okay this uh, suppose it's O, this is B and this is C, this is O, this is B and this is C. Here is this angle A O B, in this angle A O B, the segments are AO and BO. In the next angle, this angle, BOC, segments are BO and CO. And in this angle, angle AOC, segments are AO and CO. But in all the cases, angular point is same that is O. So, in this case, though the angular point is O in for all the cases, all for all these uh, three angles, angular point is same that is O. Yet, for the from the first angle at AOB, this is AOBO. That's that's why it is different from the second angle or angle BOC. Means this one because it, there it was it is BO and CO, and it's different from the third angle also. That is AOC. Means this angle. Here it is AO and CO. That's why as the segments are different for three angles. That's why these three angles are different. In position and here in measurement also and measurement of the angle uh, next uh, we are saying about measurement measurement of the angle uh, whenever we may try to measure generally we go anti-clockwise direction we follow anti-clockwise direction but an angle will increase or decrease it doesn't depend upon the length of the arms or the segment 
of the angle. It rather it depend upon the rotation of the segment or the arms. Just like this, we can explain it like this: A B, a segment. And another segment is BC. So angular point is B. Now if we say ABC, angle ABC, here angle ABC is clearly 0 degree. Okay. If now uh, suppose that B at the fixed at the point B, C, BC is moving. So C move comes to here, C1, C dot. Then the angles is moved from here. So it is increasing. Again when C comes to here after rotation C dot dot then it is going to this. So then it is again increasing. Just like that when it is again after rotation it comes to the point D then it is making a straight line. Clearly a straight line. D B C A. It is clearly a straight, straight line. So, and this here, the measurement is 180 degree. That's why 180 degree angle is known as straight line angle. Straight line angle. Now, it is again rotating. Because it starts from here. And is rotating, 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 rotating. Rotation. Yeah. Now one rotation complete. Now one rotation complete here. That's why here the angle whose uh, was measurement is 360 degree. That is called complete angle. Complete angle. One full rotation. That is called complete angle. Now. According to the measurement of the angle, now according to the measurement of the angle, we will classify the angle. So, we will class now, now we will classify the angle according to the measurement. In that case, we will start from 0 degree and between 360 degree means one full rotation. Uh, we will see how we can classify it. The angle which is greater than 0 degree but less than 90 degree means I'll let the angle theta let the angle be theta okay let the angle be theta now if the angle theta is greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree means the position will be like this this is 90 degree up to this up to this is 90 degree but it is and 0 degree will be here in this line so at the angles which is greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree means this is here that is called acute angle this is called acute angle and when theta means the angle is just perfectly equal to 90 degree means just perfectly equal to 90 degree then it is called right angle and when theta is greater than 90 degree it is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree this is called means this one it's called obtuse angle picture will be like this a point b c d and this is 90 degree so, and this is 180 degree. So, the angle theta will be in this region. Greater than 90 degree, 
and less than 180 degree that is called obtuse angle and whenever theta is just equal to perfectly equal to 180 degree then it's called straight line angle already we already i uh, said it it looks like this full okay this is point p this is c this is a this is up to this full up to this and this is 180 degree called straight line angle next is when theta is greater than 180 degree and less than one full rotation means 360 degree means it will be like this this is equal to 360 degree full rotation and this is equal to 180 degree so it's when theta is greater than 180 degree and less than this less than 360 degree that is called reflex angle reflex angle and last but not least that is when theta equal to means perfectly 360 degree when theta is perfectly 360 degree it's called full that is full rotation means full when it's full rotating that's why it's called complete rotate complete angle theta equal to 360 degree okay i can write it with blue it will be better looking theta equal to 360 degree 360 degree it is called complete angle when theta is equal to 360 degree when theta is equal to 360 degree 360 degree it's saying that it's a complete angle complete means one rotation is uh, complete that's why it's called complete angle so these are the classification of angle according to the measurement um, of the angles and in angle uh, part 2 we will uh, say about the angles uh, according to the positional fact and until then be happy and keep watching Mary's math club always practice with drawing whenever you are practicing this angle I must draw it uh, that will I think it will be helpful for you and don't forget to uh, send the uh, comments and appreciate i will appreciate all types of comments bye bye